Thinking about making a move to Illinois? Whether you're downsizing, relocating, or just curious about the cost of living here, this video will give you the real breakdown of what to expect from housing and healthcare to childcare and beyond. And trust me, there are some surprising details you'll want to know, especially if you're looking to save money. So stick around until the end and we'll share key takeaways specifically for buyers and sellers in the Illinois market. Welcome to our channel. I'm Ozzy Martinez. And I'm Tamara Urban. We specialize in real estate right here in Illinois, helping people like you simplify the home buying and selling process. Whether you're relocating from out of state or looking to find your dream home right here in the Huntley, Crystal Lake, or Algonquin, Illinois areas, we've got you covered. In this video, we're diving into a very important topic, the cost of living in Illinois. We'll go over everything you need to know and at the end, we'll summarize how these costs impact buyers and sellers in this market. So stay tuned. This information could save you thousands when planning your move or selling your home. Let's start with the biggest expense for most people, housing. In Illinois, housing prices are rising due to a shortage of available homes, but we're still more affordable than many other parts of the country. The median sales price for a single family home is currently $300,000 compared to the national median of $416,700. That means Illinois is a great option if you're looking for more value for your housing money. If you're buying a home at the Illinois by a median price of 300 with a 30 year fixed mortgage and an interest rate of 6.23, your monthly payment would be about $1,475. You can compare that with the national median price, which would be 2,048 a month. So buyers, there's a lot of opportunity here, but with inventory being low, you'll want to act fast and secure your next home. Now let's talk about utilities. In Illinois, the average monthly utility bill, including gas, electricity, and water totals about $247. Here's the breakdown. Gas about 107, electricity about 114, and water $26. Compared to the national average, Illinois residents pay less for electricity and water, but more for gas, especially during those cold winters and don't forget heating bills can spike in the winter while summer air conditioning can raise that electricity cost if you live in an area like chicago illinois you may also see slightly higher utility costs than in more rural areas now let's move on to food costs on average, households in Illinois spend about $269 per week on groceries, which works out to be about $1,076 per month. This is slightly lower than the national average, which is around $1,080 per month. Slightly. <laughs> when it comes to dining out, Illinois offers a wide range of options. A household of two in the Chicago suburbs typically spends around $260 per month on dining out with fast food options like Big Mac costing $4.50. Keep in mind, <laughs> Illinois has a combined state and local tax for prepared food of around 10 to 11%, which can make dining out slightly more expensive than in other states. What's your favorite place to dine out in Illinois? Let us know in the comments. We're always looking for new recommendations. Transportation is another major expense. Nationally, the average household spends about $12,295 per year on transportation, wow. and Illinois falls right in line with that figure. Gas prices in Illinois tend to be higher than the national average due to state taxes, so if you rely on a personal vehicle, you'll want to budget for that. However, if you live in a city like Chicago, you can save on transportation transportation costs by using public transit. Systems like the CTA and Metro offer cost-effective alternatives to driving. But if you're in a more rural area, you're likely to rely on personal vehicles, which can raise your transportation costs due to gas, insurance, vehicle maintenance. But do remember, in Huntley, you have to drive to Crystal Lake or Elgin to get on the train. But you know what? In Crystal Lake, you have the train right there. So those options are available to us, even in a little more rural area. <laughs> Now let's talk about entertainment. Nationally, the average American spends about $297 per month on entertainment and Illinois is still different. In Chicago, Illinois, you'll find higher costs like $15 for a movie ticket or around $75 for a monthly fitness club membership. 
but that's typically for a major city. The good news is if you're living in more rural or suburban areas like Huntley, Illinois or Algonquin, there are plenty of affordable community-based events. For example, Huntley's Farmer's Market runs every Saturday from May to October and they also host free summer concerts and movies in the park. Similar events are found in Crystal Lake, where you can enjoy concerts in the park by the lake or explore summer markets on Saturdays. Ozzy and I love attending the farmer's market in Hot Lake. It's a great way to enjoy fresh produce and connect with the community. What local events do you enjoy? Drop a comment below. Healthcare in Illinois is another major cost to consider. In Illinois, the average monthly cost for a silver health insurance plan is about $539, which is right in line with the national average. For families with employer-sponsored health insurance plans, the total annual healthcare cost for a family of four is around 32,000. And for state employees, monthly contributions can be as low as $113 depending on salary and their dependents. Now let's talk childcare costs. Childcare costs in Illinois are a big expense, particularly in urban areas. On average, infant care costs about $1,364 per month. And preschool care for a four-year-old runs about $999 per month. These costs are about 11% higher than the national average. If you're in Chicago, you'll see even higher childcare costs, around $26.51 per month for full-time care. But in rural areas, those costs drop significantly, with some daycare centers charging around $910 a month. That's a big difference depending on where you live. Finally, let's talk about clothing costs. In Illinois, you'll spend about 4% less on clothing than the national average. While nationally, households spend about $162 per month on apparel, Illinois residents tend to spend a little bit less. Of course, how much you spend will depend on your personal preferences and shopping habits, but overall, Illinois is a relatively affordable place to update your wardrobe. Now that we've covered all the details, let's wrap up with some key takeaways for both buyers and sellers. For buyers, Illinois offers affordable housing compared to the national average, but with low inventory, you'll need to act fast in this competitive market. Utilities and food costs are generally in line with national averages, but transportation and childcare varies greatly depending on where you live, urban versus rural. If you're in a city like Chicago, public transit can help save money, but rural areas offer savings in areas like childcare and entertainment. For sellers, highlight Illinois affordable cost of living compared to other states when marketing your home. This is especially attractive for relocation buyers. If you're in a rural or suburban area, emphasize the community-focused affordable events that make areas great for families. For those selling in cities, emphasize the variety of entertainment, dining, and transportation options that the city life offers, despite the slightly higher cost. Thanks so much for watching this deep dive into the cost of living in Illinois. We hope this information helps you make informed decisions whether you're buying, selling, or relocating to this great place. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. If you have any questions about real estate in Illinois or want to learn more, drop a comment below or get in touch with us directly. We'd love to help you find your next home or sell your current one. See you in the next video.